my first vlog. Now, I don't know how that's going to turn out, but what I know is I want to share with you my coming week, or at least, you know, a few things I'm going to be doing this week. So if that can add a bit of value to you guys, I think it's worth it. But you know, you tell me, leave your comments, let me know how that goes, if I should do some more, or if I should just... A year ago, I started that project for an artist that lives in the Lille de la Réunion, which is a French island on the east coast of Africa. Now, the entire project is done remotely. What we did last year is we, uh, we work on the arrangements, pre-production and everything, and then the artist needed to postpone the project. Now, a year later, we're ready to go back into the project. So this is exactly what I did last night. I went back, opened up the uh, all the sessions because I, you know, I knew I was going to start working on the project again starting next week or so. And um, I was afraid of having to, of having to like you know redo a lot of stuff. Um, I was afraid of not being that much satisfied with the work we uh, we did at the time. Um, I don't know why, but it's always a kind of a fear that you can get if that happens. It turned out that the work we did at the time was pretty good. We had some very good ideas, so I was very encouraged and very excited to get back into the project. So now I'm gonna Skype with my client, you know, take the time to listen to all the songs and then uh, take a few notes on the stuff we need to, uh, to work before we get into the recording stage, okay? So I'm gonna start that maybe next week or the following week with um, drums and bass. On the road today, so that's the good thing about being his own boss, you know. So when you need to get out of the studio, you just go out of the studio. That's it. So I want to talk to you about my biggest mixing hack. Well, when you start mixing and stuff, at some point you, you, you tend to forget the basics, you know. You tend to forget what is the most important. First, you need to write good music, good songs, and so on. So a good song will actually maybe save a mix at some point. Okay, now I have a freaking crazy guy at the back who's trying to... I'm in the second lane, there's traffic, and the guy is zigzagging all around the road. They are crazy people out there, crazy people. Hey, you want to see crazy? I'll tell you. <laughs> Getting back to my, my hack, okay? So if you have a bad mix, or, you know, just a not perfect mix, okay, to your standards, having a good song will go a long way. There's a few artists that I listen to that, to be honest with you, I really don't like the mix. I don't love and like the way the music sounds. But the songs are so strong and the songs are so intense and they get to me. And you know, that is the most important thing in my opinion. So a very bad song that is well mixed is not going to reach me at all. Okay, I will never, never, never listen to a really, really good mix if the song sucks. Okay, but I don't have any problem to listen to a okay or not a perfect mix. But if it's a good song, man, I don't care much about all the technical aspect of the mix and if it's super 100% well balanced and stuff. You know, if the song is good, even if it's not to my mixing standards or taste. If the song is good, there you go. Getting ready for my interview with Lidge Shaw from the recording studio Rockstars. Uh, that is an amazing podcast, by the way, so you need to check this out, okay? <laughs> Yes.
yesterday I had my, my interview with Lij Shah. Uh, it was a pretty cool experience. I really enjoyed it. So honestly, I was a bit nervous, you know, just um, by the fact that it was my first interview in English. Okay, that's it's pretty intense for me anyways, because, you know, English is not my first language. And I'm pretty sure you guys noticed. So, uh, still, it went well. Hopefully, you know, the result, the, the end result will, will be good. So, we'll see about that. And thank you, Lij Shah, for uh, giving me the opportunity to speak out to your audience. Now, today, um, I'm working a new project with an artist from La Martinique with my good friend, Jimmy. So, you guys are going to meet Jimmy, uh, my buddy, my production partner. So, this is going to be pretty cool. Oh, yeah, I have to make a DDP master for a client in, uh, in an hour from now, so at 10 o'clock. Now we're Thursday, by the way. I'm going to make his DDP montage, a CD montage for duplication. And then I'm going to be starting to work that new project with Jimmy. So this is going to be pretty cool. Yeah, done with the DDP master. So went well. And now I'm with my good friend Jimmy. Yeah, we're ready to uh, ready to work on a new project for a client. So this is gonna be fun. Very excited. Now my secret ingredient for the home studio, slippers. The day is over, now it's time for some steaks. <laughs> 